Hey guys, if you've been watching my videos up till now, you know that I'm going through a, uh, a process of trying out different games from different genres uh, on this new technology that's come through from Prime Sense and Microsoft. I've done an RTS before in black and white, which worked really well, mainly because black and white is such a, a visionary title, and its primary the interface Rebel is uh, the mouse with just one or two, two hotkeys. The Total War series, however, is uh, a little bit more difficult, um, mainly because there's just so many things that you can do uh, in a battle, uh, and a lot of that is controlled via the GUI, which obviously hasn't been designed for this sort of interface. So you can see I'm going through, and the mouse is being controlled by my right hand, um, left and right clicks on the C and Z buttons on the nunchuck, which is also doing uh, the movement. So what I've added here is a little bit of voice control. Archers. Ceasefire. Wait for my orders. Units. You are the first wave. Units. Group. Units. You are the second wave. Battle group. Form column. Units. Go Call away. Units. Form line. So basically what the uh, the voice controllers allow us to do is to uh, hook into the 50 or so uh, key, bindings, key bindings that uh, Rome Total War offers us to, uh, to manipulate the battlefield. Um, the more observant of you will notice that I'm actually wearing a headset here, uh, but the connect does have uh, an inbuilt microphone. Uh, the main problem is that the, the microphone isn't actually hooked up at the moment through the uh, yep. through the drivers from Prime Sense. So once that comes through you can easily just chuck away the microphone and uh, just use the connect for all of this stuff. So the voice control is uh, is being done by uh, the voice recognition that's already built into Windows 7. You'll find it hiding in the, uh, the ease of access section of control panel. Um, it's had a little program tagged onto it called VAC, Voice Activated Watch Commands, it. which does for voice what FAST does for connect. Basically binds key presses to voice. Second wave. And you can obviously have multiple uh, phrases Count. bound to any one key press. First wave. Double time. Archers. Move it, you dogs. Hurry! There's some custom scripting going on here with uh, Glove Pie, just some, some simple stuff which was controlling the uh, zooming in feature that you saw earlier, which was uh, just simply leaning your body forward to zoom in and then uh, sitting back in a comfortable position to. To, to zoom back out again. Um, you might have noticed but you can uh, quickly lock on to your currently selected unit by uh, punching your arm out to the left Archers. and you Loose can formation. zoom in on the closest unit to the cursor by punching your hand forwards. Move it you dogs. Second wave. Double time. So these are the, the poor guys who are about to meet the Fury of Rome. They look like a, a bunch of children with, with, uh, with sticks, but uh, old Julius has got a name to make for himself. So um, this does work in large battles. Um, I've, I've not done that here uh, mainly because as soon as I switch on Fraps to, to start recording this stuff, uh, my CPU gets absolutely annihilated. Um, I mean, you can probably see the the frame rate drop in throughout this. Second wave. The impact that has is uh, basically the the voice commands don't get recognised quite so well, and um, the mouse becomes really jaggy. Double time. Darken the skies. Fire at will. Get under attack. Ceasefire. Wait for my orders. 
Light him up. Dude, fire! Fire at will. Fire at will! So, using this method, it's possible to, uh, to control pretty much everything that's going on in the battlefield. Um, there's no open hand and close hand gestures available in uh, in fast or, or the night framework, I think, uh, which is why the uh, the C and Z buttons are still being used. Um, I've resisted the urge of using uh, a right hand forward gesture for a left click, just so that you don't get any un unwanted uh, events getting triggered. Um, you'll notice as well with the left hand that when it gets pushed forwards, it uh, it it displays where all the the troops are currently moving to on the battlefield and just just taking the the place of the space bar. Uh, Double time. Archers. Hold. First wave. Charge. Second wave. Charge. So again, one of the the cool features with Charge. this um, is that I mean you, you can play through the game with it. You uh, you'll have more fun playing custom battles, the historic battles, and quick battles because the the interfacing campaign mode Increased just front. isn't designed for this. The, the objects and buttons just don't have a a large enough uh, click radius, if you like. Um, what you can do is you can take this online and play your mates. Uh, again, like the, the Street Fighter uh, video I did earlier. And what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll take all this stuff, pop it in the fast forums, um, and I hope you guys enjoy having some good old fashioned battles. Such a victory! The day is ours!